If you want to know how you can improve your ROM Animal and Micro House tracks by using custom made glitches, percussion sounds to make your sounds more darker sounding if you like that. This video is perfectly for you because in this video I show you how I like to do such sounds, some glitches, some noises, spice up, uh, drum loops and how you can do so by using freeware tools and the tools you already have in your toolkit if you have Ableton Live. If this sounds interesting to you, let's don't waste any time and let's jump right over. Let's first have a quick listen and then let's jump over to Ableton Live. Cheers. Alright, so this is the example that we are going to work with. And yeah, I got inspired by some sounds from a sample pack. So those are the sounds that uh, got inspired me. Some glitches and whatnot, right? Now let's have a quick listen on with what kind of sounds I came up with. So yeah, let's not waste any time and let's get started with um, analyzing quickly some sounds and let ourselves inspired by them. So if we listen to them, those are very short uh, kind of sounds, right? It's not sounds, but noises, right? Very short noises played very quickly. Now let's find the core sound and I like to use some kind of uh, tonal sound, some noise, but also some top sound maybe in it to start with. And then uh, let's see how we can create some sounds here, right? make a simple sequence and I like to use fracture which is a freeware tool right so the main things to work with I found is um, number one the buffer buffer section the repeats the size and the ratio right so let's start with the size maybe first Let's experiment with the repeats a little bit so you get the idea. I found that the lower values work best for the size, repeats and ratio on the buffer. We can also change up the signal path, right? So I want maybe the, the filter first and then the buffer and then the delay. delay. So that already sounds more interesting to me. friend i'll jump back into the video in a second but before we do so i want to say thank you thank you that you watched so far really this means a lot i wouldn't make this those videos if no one would watch so you watch this for so i want to reward that and i want to give you something for free which is my ableton live one tool preset pack so this is basically ableton live based stock pack those are basically presets, you know, that you can drag and drop into your uh, channels. Let's jump quickly in and see some examples how this can help you out and how it can inspire you. And then we jump back to the content. Thanks for watching. Sounds pretty different, right? Those are little sound design tools to keep you going, hopefully. Go and grab it for free. Let's make this a little bit dirtier maybe, right? Automated.
Get another tool here. Right? Pretty simple. Again, those are not the, the most complicated whatever tools. They are simple, straightforward tool to make a little bit of impact to add uh, those little things that I like to talk all the time in my videos, which is add things that you can feel but not hear, you know. So that's the sound, right? Clean and nice. And now let's transform it with those tools. Of course we want some additional grooves, right? Now you can transform shit pretty easily with those tools. It lets you really tweak stuff, you know, that's my whole point. It's not the fanciest shit, but it's quick and an easy fix and that inspires you, you know. Combine it, add more stuff add more tools and it keeps you going i hope so hope it does you know so let's add some stuff to this maybe we'll right let's make quick a b sounds pretty different right those are little sound design tools to keep you going hopefully go and grab it for free I also want to show what's possible with one simple, simplistic, minimalistic tools, you know, where you can transform your shit with stock plugins. So yeah, if you want that, grab it on the link below. Thanks for watching, now let's get back to the, to the content. Let's just experiment a little bit. Maybe let's add some effects, short delays maybe, let's let's see how this could work possibly. And let's just uh, experiment a little bit. Uh, maybe let's also record all of that tweaking so we can later on um, just take out the good stuff, right? Not all sounds are great quality, but uh, I'm sure we can find some good stuff in there. That's why I like to record all of it, right? All of the jamming and then we find some good stuff in there. You also get great results if you use another fracture instance. So basically, just using them in series, right? So you possibly can get some really fast sounding glitches and percussion effects and sounds. Something like that, right? crispy glitchy in the tops let's play play around a little bit and see how they can work in context with the track idea Let's adjust some stuff. Some sounds, some sounds I don't like. So let's let's find some others. Maybe. To 
this one maybe sounds interesting. Let's add some other effects maybe, like an echo or reverb or some Valhalla stuff maybe later on. We could still uh, improve them, right, a little bit, maybe playing with the attack and envelope a little bit, maybe. Or pitch them up, pitch them down, but uh, as a general um, guidance, this is how you could possibly do it, do it right? Create some custom glitches that you want. Yeah, that's it i hope you like that as inspiration take what you like leave what you don't like and yeah take some action go and grab fracture from glitch machines on their homepage. it's for free and have fun experimenting cheers bye bye